Yeah, let me see. Um, my mic is working this time. Uh, so basically, I want to discuss top 10 old school fragrances for the summer. And I was talking about it. And I was saying, where is it? 1881. I have it somewhere. I have 1881. And I was looking on Fragrantica. And this is a good freight. Listen, I, I, I'm not God. I can't change the weather. It is what it is in Miami. It's hot all the time. But I could sometimes wear this. I don't wear it too frequently. But uh, it does have the note of cypress in here and pine tree. It's more of a spring fragrance because most of the older fragrances were made for colder weather. That's the truth. So this is 1881. It truly is a masterpiece the way it's blended. Like, let me, let me go over the notes with you. So it has so many, so many notes and you have to understand like in the older days, all of the fragrances were kind of geared towards the cold, colder weather. But this has a little juniper, lavender, and it's not so much a fougere. It has carnation. Carnation always is, is the floral that brings a, a very uh, masculine vibe. Vetiver, pine tree. Um, I love it. I don't wear it too often. I'm looking online right now. I see it's going for... $27. This is what I think you should do. I mean, I'm not giving advice, but if you have to, uh, if you happen to go to Parfum Mania, because Parfum Mania has a lot of those old school fragrances, just spray it on, see if you like it, you know? And it's real nice, actually. It's very well blended. <clears throat> and I think you'll appreciate the beauty of this fragrance. It's not something I wear too often, but I appreciate sniffing it once in a while. It's very nice if you like those notes like pine tree, cypress, and it has that masculine note of carnation. And carnation is probably, well, carnation and lavender are two masculine florals, and I really enjoy this one, but I don't wear it too often because it's more of a spring fragrance, but it is summer right now. And pretty much in Miami, we have summer all year long. I, I enjoy wearing this more in the cooler months, but you know, Miami is hot and it's always hot. Next one I wanted to bring up, and this is an old school fragrance, believe it or not. This is Givenchy Ultramarine, and it's an aromatic floral with green notes. Let me look at the prices. Um, it has black currant, watermelon, bergamot, galbon, galb, and um, it's going for thirty-one bucks. Let me see the score. Pretty much, it's getting. A let me see, where is it? A four point oh four with eleven hundred and forty one votes. Uh, this was released in nineteen ninety four, and it's not the best fragrance. Uh, it really isn't the best fragrance four point oh four. But if you you're a man and you enjoy florals, it's a good pickup for you. Let me uh, spray. Yeah, and it it's uh, got those C notes, that aquatic vibe, and it's kind of masculine, boy. It's it's very masculine. Um, this is like, do I recommend it? It's interesting, you know. I think it, it brings there's a warmth to this that it sort of warms my heart. I'm just going over feelings right now. It's, I smell a little iris in there. Um, and I'm not a fan of iris. And that would be the only thing that would turn me off. Now, let me make sure this has iris in here because I don't want to give you false information here. 
Okay, yes, so it does have iris. This does have a little iris. And if you like iris summer fragrances, that would be like, that would be uh, the only reason I would say pick it up. If you like iris summer fragrances, if you like iris summer fragrances, this would be a nice pickup. How to clean the bottle. I think the iris uh, is very uh, off-putting to me. But if you like iris and you like aquatics, this is a good one to pick up. It's not one of my favorites, but it's a it's a summer fragrance for old lovers of old school fragrances. I think a lot of people will love it. It's getting a very high score on Fragrantica, like above 4.0. It's getting a 4.04 with like 1,151 vo votes. So, caboose shoes. Yeah. No. Now, 1881. Eight. I, I agree with you. Um, 1881 is a masterpiece. Okay. But I don't wear it. And I like the smell of it, you know? It truly is a masterpiece, but it's not something I wear too often. And, and, and like the last video was like the fragrances I wear the most, you know, like, uh, you know, those fragrances from uh, Guerlain, like this one. I love this one. Guerlain Ohm. I wear that all the time mostly like and and this one mostly on a a rotating uh schedule here i love these a lot and these are the ones i truly wear all the time like 1881 is interesting to have in the collection that's what i could say um it's a masterpiece it's very well blended i don't wear it but I enjoy having it, <laughs> I, you know, like, I don't know what that means. I enjoy having it. It smells great, but it's not something I reach for. Let's be honest. But uh, if I lived in a colder environment, I might wear it more often. It's very interesting with that uh, pine thing going on and the uh, cypress, you know, the note of cypress is beautiful. I mean, sometimes I'm a little weird and geeky and I just smell the fragrances and kind of get different vibes and go through moods and, you know, <laughs> whatever. I'm a weird guy. Um, God, I'm revealing too much. But yeah, I do that. I mean, I, I, like, to, I like to go through fragrances and just kind of smell them. It's kind of a weird hobby. Now, I couldn't find my uh, Perry Alice 360. But this one, I got compliments with this one. At one point, I used to collect the fists, right? They used to sell this on Amazon, I think for 54 bucks. And like every payday, I buy a new fist. And they were all kind of intriguing. But this is the one I always wore, which is the original. Diesel, only the Brave. And this was like uh, like a signature scent at one, at one time. I don't know what signature scent is. But, you know, I wear it more than the other ones. Let me look on Fragrantica and uh, see what the... Diesel only the brave has in it. Only the brave. Okay, so it's amber. That's what it is. Amber citrus leather powdery. And I, I do love amber fragrances. It's you could actually get the 2.5. This must be the 2.5 ounce. For 25 bucks, it's getting a 3.89 with 2,381 votes. It came out in 2009. And when it came out, I used to wear it a lot. 
right? And it sort of was an easy, and I had them all lined up, but for some reason I wore this one. So I've been, I've gone through like maybe two bottles of this in my lifetime, but I, I really, uh, I did get compliments on it as well. So this is an interesting one. How am I coming through on the mic, Caboose? I only got one person in here. But uh, I, I did wear it and I did get compliments. And there was a time where I, I only wore this one, right? Lotus A, poor home. And I sort of relegated it as my fragrance when I went on the boat with my buddies. And everybody had, you know, we used to discuss, what are you wearing? Like one of my friends would be like, oh, yeah, I'm wearing polo blue sport. And I used to wear this. And sort of like that was it. Like, oh, he's wearing this, Lotus A. And, you know, it's it's a kind of a, a motivating. This isn't a, a relaxing fragrance in any way. This is the kind of fragrance you wear to go out and do something with your life, you know, whether it's going on the boat, it's it's a get outside and do something with your life kind of fragrance. That's what kind of uh, aromatic citrus, it's known for the note of yuzu, which I had no idea what yuzu was back then, but this is a go out and live your life kind of fragrance. It's not a like chill and and stay home kind of fragrance. And, and you know, it's not really a, uh, a beautiful fragrance it's it's a situational fragrance more than anything else but uh i i i went out and what's up fernando how you doing so this was a get out and do something with your life kind of fragrance i wouldn't say it's beautiful it even is a little sour but it got me to go out and hang out with my friends on my boat and so it's that kind of fragrance. Go out and do something with your life kind of fragrance. But more more casual, not really a work fragrance. It, 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 it sort of fit into a certain sub, 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 sub category, you know, for me. And the sub, 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 sub category was go out with your friends, go on the boat and, you know, feel, you know, smell the ocean air, relax go out and, you know, go to one of these places and, and, and get like one of these deluxe hamburgers with some fries. <laughs> oh, ADP Mira. No scent of the day, but testing Aqua de Parma. Oh, it must be a new one. It's EDC. I like EDCs. Yeah, but, you know, I think a lot of people, they smell this and they're like, uh, I don't like it. It, it. it like for like a YouTuber. What's up, Sandy? Right. So for how you doing, man? I, I love you, man. I love Sandy. I miss your beautiful hair. I wish I had straight hair like that. Um, but yeah, this is kind of. It's not beautiful at all, and it is a little pungent, but. It's a go out and do something with your life kind of fragrance. Don't stay home. You know, that's what this fragrance screams to me. And, and a lot of people today can't understand that. They're just like, oh, it's like, uh, is it a panty dropper? No, it's not a panty dropper. There was no such thing as a panty dropper back in those days. It was just a motivating fragrance to go out and do something with your life. Mm, love the Mr. Miyaki. Yeah. So, so like, if I put it in a top 10 list, people would be like, well, I smelled it and I don't like it. And I could understand that, but it's, it's more of, I wouldn't recommend anybody buy Issy Miyake Poor Home unless, unless you lived uh, during the days before the internet, uh, before dial up, you know, maybe dial up existed, but before like uh, social media where we could do live streams and, you know, upload videos to YouTube, this was a, a more innocent time 
where you had to go out, who could get the most phone numbers. I mean, that's the way it was, right? So that's that's what this that's what this fragrance is. It's not a beautiful fragrance. It's a go out and do something with your life kind of fragrance. And here is oh I can't see I can't see too well. So this is Terre de Mez. And Terre de Mez has a really beautiful orange note in there and it's there's like a rudy vetiver in there um i think a lot of people when they first smell terre de mez they're not gonna like it you know they're not gonna like it i think o intense vetiver uh a lot more people will like o intense vetiver but i think overall most people they smell this they are not gonna like terre de mez it's just the bottom line. But there's there's a special quality with the way the orange comes across. And that's what makes this fragrance beautiful. And I've worn it in in you know in the nighttime. I've worn it, you know, in, in a professional environment is very nice. And it sort of gives you the vibes that you are a professional. It, it sort of uh, separates you. I just signed terms and condition to enter the cuddle street. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I see people in there like, people like, man, I, I don't even want to get into it. But it's like you see how how people are. Back in the day when the girls were nicer and the music was better. Yes, I agree with that wholeheartedly, Sandy. <laughs> written permission. Mm, nice to see you in here. Yeah. So those are some. And some, like, I wear. Oh, you have two vintage bottles. Yeah, it's a beautiful fragrance that I never wear. Because, like, you're down in Mexico. I don't know how often you wear it. It's just kind of like one of those, like, spray on you just kind of relax it's beautiful it's a beautiful fragrance but it's 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 just a beautiful it's just to appreciate perfumery more than anything else now this is something well you can see how much i've worn and this is pretty much mentholated this is pretty much ice right With that eucalyptus note, and I'm I'm a big fan of mint and eucalyptus because I sort of have sinus problems, I think, and this kind of helps, and it, it sort of uh, livens me up, and I I recommend this one. They do have the regular one, but I appreciate this one a lot more. Like if I were to choose between um, the regular 4711 and Florida water, Florida water wins hands down every time. Florida water, Florida water, Florida water is a masterpiece, in my opinion. And it's so easy to wear. I have one in a spritzer when I go out and yeah. Oh, yeah, it makes your headache go away. Nice. Not as often as I would like to, but many bottles. Yeah, 1881 has always been an easy reach. Yeah. Not for me so much, but like, uh, Sandy, I'm not sure where you live, but for me, I appreciate the perfumery aspect of it. It's it's beautiful. Um, and it wasn't expensive when I purchased it, but it's it's beautiful. And here's another one. I, I I already spoke about this. Oh, let me. You know what? Let me talk about this one. Now, uh, some people who are into like the uh, wet shaving community, like my buddy Ken's Ken's BSing and shaving, he will know about this one. This is, I. This is my third bottle of this. 
Adagio by Barrister and Man. Now, Barrister and Man only comes out with this during the summer. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. It has a cherry note in there. It's known for the cherry note more than anything else. And obviously, like, all these sort of aftershaves have a kind of, uh, what's the word, mentholated. Duncan always knows the word. But, like, a, a eucalyptus kind of vibe. I can't think of the word. Duncan's not here. What's up, Cancel Fat Boy? I wanted to go in the fragrance with Dude, uh, we don't need any more drama, console fanboy. I'm tired of the drama. You know, let me tell you, it 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 honestly, it affects people's mental health, and it always comes around to the person who's starting the drama, right? Like, it always it always comes around, and that's what happened over there. He would be a good boy. No, man. Let me tell you. Let, let me tell you. Uh, it, it, what happened to UAG? He he was just trashing, trashing, trashing people, and uh, calling everyone racist, this and that. And then when it backfired on him, when it, it showed another side of UAG, it's like. It, it it always backfires on on the person, okay? It always backfires, and and it's just you know karma, you know. It's just it's true. It it, it happens, and I'm just tired of it. I mean, let's be honest. Fragrances are for yourself, and you want to sort of share the feeling you get from smelling fragrances. Uh, but like there, there's a skill that's involved talking about fragrances for two hours. Like, uh, you know, TLTG does, I mean, there's a skill to that, you know, and he really is focused on that, but not a lot of people can do that. I, I don't think I can. You know, um, but there is a skill to that, you know, and I think when you, you focus on people, it gets ugly. It's sort of like what it is. It's sort of saying like, this isn't a person he's lower than. And it, it just uh, it, it in the end, you always find out the person who's starting the drama is always the lower than. I want to go to your community because I don't want drama. Dude, you always start drama. Everybody knows you. Everybody knows you, console fanboy. It's just like, you know, the drama isn't good for people's mental health. And and when it, it, it turns around and, you know, on you, you'll understand. You know, I, I kind of like people – say I said this, it's like, I didn't say it to be hurtful. I never said anything to be hurtful. Um, I think you do say some things, console fanboy, to be hurtful. And I don't know, man. It's it's kind of malicious. And it hurts people and it gets too personal. I, I just don't like that. I, I would say things like, you know, this guy has too many bottles, you know, um, you need to own some properties, you know, stuff like that. That's not personal, you know, but when you get into like personal stuff, it gets like real ugly and it, it sort of seems like you're an attention whore or, you know, there are attention whores, right? And that's what it seems like. They just want attention they want to, you know, be as shocking as they can and um, hurt people. And it's just like, dude, we all live lives. We all have to, we don't need that in our lives, you know. It's sort of funny, I guess, to some people. I never found it funny. Some, some, some things were funny when there wasn't any name calling. But 
the name calling I didn't like, you know, I didn't like the name calling, you know, but if you make fun of a product, I think that's okay. I just want to know if it's normal when fragrance people smell the stick. What? <laughs> I got to figure that out real quick. <laughs> that's funny. I mean, it was it was just a joke. It wasn't personal. What's up, A to Z? That that dude, that was the comment of the year. Yeah, we we're not even focusing on a person, but it's like, yeah, that's that's why they're like, <laughs> that's why they're getting off on the fragrance. Whoa, A to Z, Neil, you used to call me Howard Stern. You used to love me. Come on. It, I, I do love you, but it got too personal. It just got too, it got too personal. And it's like calling people racist. And, you know, then this other guy, he was calling people racist. And then everything backfired on him. You know, it's like, it's it's like, I know you're doing it for attention, but if if there's no if there's no comedy involved and you're not really getting personal, it's funny. Like, but if you get too personal, it's not funny. It becomes, it becomes malicious at a certain point, you know? There you go. There are lines you shouldn't cross. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, it, in this community, everybody knows where I live. I'm like, so somebody could, you know, send me something. And it's just like, dude, it's just like, I didn't come on here uh, to, uh, I didn't come on here for that. I came on here to talk about my appreciation for fragrances, you know? And it's just like, it, it becomes a, a thing like with subs, like, oh, he has more subs than me. It's like, who cares? I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, the truth of the matter is, if you're gonna upload every day, Two, to, two times a day, you're going to get subs, you know, you're going to get subs, but it's, it's become envious. Like how come this guy has so many subs? Because he's consistent, you know, it's, it's all about consistency. And I, I watch some conservative channels, um, you know, like say for instance, Tim cast or uh, a black conservative perspective, but they upload five, six times a day. And, it, it's, I think we all are creatures of habit and we want to, you know, want to like, it's, it's a habit. So we're used to listening to Tim cast every day or, or Dave Rubin, you know, I listen to Dave Rubin. Um, and, and I'm used to listening to him every day. He, he does like a little, uh, 10 second, a 10 minute piece. And I like that, you know, it makes me feel like, okay, it's 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 sort of a pattern. It's a pattern in life, and we all like patterns, man. You know, I mean, um, we 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 like the familiar. We like the familiar. Sometimes, like uh, meeting a new woman, and you're not sure. There's a, a certain uh, discomfort there, you know, and we like the usual. Every day, I eat the same foods every day. You know, it's funny because Agnes Eva, she eats the same foods every day. You know, I eat egg witches and she, she's like, yeah, I don't like the textures of apples. And I'm like, I'm the same way. I like apples. I, I love apple juice. If they could make it apple juice with absolutely like apple, like apple cider or whatever. I like textures. I love peanut butter. I love almond butter. I love textures, you know, um, with food. Like, I'm sort of addicted to almond butter. I always have to have at least a spoonful of almond butter before I go to sleep. But this is all patterns, you know. It's like patterns. Everything becomes a pattern. Like, I used to drink coffee with sugar in it. And, and like, not even, like, the coffee made stuff. And now I don't even... Uh, I just drink it, drink it black and I'm used to it, 
you know, and we just like patterns in life, man. What am I talking about? Oh, fragrances? OTG. Oh, no, sh- no more, man. OTG, no more. I, I mean, no more. It, it just, you know, it's not good. It's fun, but, you know, it, it gets to another level. And, <laughs> yeah. But I, I still love you. I love you for your personality. And that's what it is. You know, when those two other guys were saying, oh, he's racist. And this, you stood there. You sat there quietly and you didn't say anything. And I was like, respect. You just can't. You just can't throw those uh, those terms out there, you know, to hurt people. You know, it's just like, dude, you know it, and I know it. Brad is a dork. He doesn't mean it. I mean, think about this. He's a middle-aged man that wears Mario socks. You know? He's a middle-aged man that wears Mario socks. But that's who he is, you know? He's a dork, a nerd, however you want to describe it. But he's not a malicious guy, you know? But, you know, people always strike back once they're attacked. When you corner somebody, they'll always, they'll always uh, strike back. And, and something you may think, oh, this person's not going to strike back. They will strike back. And, you know, that's how it is. Why don't I have cologne bottles in my background? Because <laughs> I don't want cologne bottles in my background. I like, I like my neon signs better. I don't think it's 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 sort of a thing where people show cologne bottles in their background and actually like this guy knows a lot. He knows a lot about colognes. Look at all the colognes. I have a lot of colognes, but I don't feel it's necessary to show them off. And it's all about you know well. Uh, what kind of knowledge do you have? I guess I don't have knowledge, but I know where to look for knowledge. And like with this video, I I was talking about, uh, oh, I still have more to talk about. I was talking about this fragrance and I smelled iris. And it's kind of a powder. It's, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's a note you'll know in, in perfumery. And I I said, oh, I noticed the iris. Okay, here's another one. Now, people, now, I don't wear this one at all because it is extra strong. It's a very, nobody owns this bottle except me in the whole fragrance community. Now, this is another one I kind of got burnt out on quick. This is called Boucheron. What is it? Like some kind of fresh. Um, I can't see. Dude, I, <laughs> I can't see anything. It's like, okay, focus. Uh, the camera's given up. I had it, I left it on by accident. Hold on. Where's my flashlight? Oh. I don't have anything. I am so unprepared. But hold on. Let me put on my glasses and tell you what the name of this is. This is Boucheron. I wouldn't say for the summer, but it's more Boucheron for Boucheron Poor Home. Okay. Fraisure. Fraisure. Okay. So this one is a blast of lemongrass. Like, I don't know the names of fragrances, to be honest with you, because there's so many, and I'm just not really interested in the name. I'm more interested in the smell. But this is uh, Eau Fraîcheur, Boucheron. This one is so freaking strong. It's so strong. And it's got the note of lemongrass in there. 
and it's got an old school vibe. And and one time I uh, dropped off my car. I've I've worn this to the mall many times. It doesn't look like it, but you know, I, I've worn it many times to the mall, and and it's just so powerful. It's so much more powerful than the fragrances that are out there. But one time I dropped off my car and I walked home in the heat and I was like, Oh my God, it's too much. It's too much. So this is a Boucheron and it really has a strong lemongrass note. And I would say it's kind of more for, like appropriate for the spring. It's great for going to the mall. <laughs> I have a wrench. Hell yeah, you got a wrench, man. Of course. You got you gotta like colognes though. I mean, if you don't like colognes. Wait, how come it's all the way there? No, let's not start fragrance. Uh, I never attack first. I, I don't know. Let's see. Does it matter the person with more subs than you is buying them? When you know, well, that's that's the whole issue in in the fragrance thing. People are saying that some people are uh, buying subs. Like, there's one guy who who has like half a million subs, and he just started like uh, like a couple. I mean, half a million, and he just started like maybe six months ago. I don't know, something like that. And everybody's like, "How'd you get that many subs?" You know, because you only get like a thousand views on your videos. So it's just, it's like, who cares? But I think there's a competition in the fragrance community. I don't want to be part of the competition because it's not a competition. Like, it's all about like, how much money are you going to earn? You know, that, that that's what matters. You know, it's like, um, Am I going to get a sponsorship? I mean, that's if you're looking at YouTube, I'd like it because I like to hang out with my friends and talk because it's a habit for me. But like in the fragrance community, you could, you know, get sponsors, right? And make a lot of money. I mean, there's a lot of money, you know, like if, if uh, you recommend the cologne in one of your top 10 lists, you could get paid. I mean, it's the way it works. It's 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 uh, the way of the world, you know. And there's a lot of money in it because you think about it. Okay, let's pick up uh, like this. Let's just pick up this. Do you think it cost diesel fifty bucks to make this? It's a bottle. It's alcohol, and it's a bunch of uh, fragrance oil. Now, there isn't that much fragrance oil in there, so it's mostly alcohol. It's like denatured alcohol. So why would you have to – nobody's going to buy a $50 bottle unless you have some sort of advertising you know, you talk about it with the, the arcade machines, like Arcade 1-Up has a lot of advertising. Uh, IRK didn't have a lot of advertising. So there's a lot of money put into advertising in the cologne industry. You know, um, what's his name? Johnny Depp or something? He, uh, he did a, a video for a cologne and he made, I don't know how much, but it was a lot of money. Right, I think it was Savage, Savage EDT, but he made a lot of money because it gives it gives a vibe or like like I remember like when I was like nineteen, I used to watch these videos when my mom sent them to me in Belgium, and I would see these videos of some guy hiking up the mountain. And he gets to the top of the mountain 
and he opens the bottle and he's like, ah. And I purchased I purchased a cologne the very next day because I'm like, I want that feeling. I want to, you know, uh, go to the top of the mountain and say, ah, you know, it was, it was a, it's advertising, you know. Yes, Papa Brad buys subs. Yeah, it's, it's like, who cares? Because that undermines my work. When I get so hard and I don't buy subs, someone with half a brain cell has more subs than me because he's buying them. Not fair and illegal. You know, how would you feel if I had one million subs and he was way worse than you? But th this happens, though. This This really happens. Oh, no, I'm not going to read that. RK one up drama queen. Keenly Portly, how you doing, man? Is calling. No, I don't think that's, I don't think, I think that's allowed. I, I think calling a reviewer is a shill. I, I don't think that's, I don't think, um, I think that's, you know, I think there's nothing wrong with that. But to say, you know, to bring up the past or to bring up real life stuff, share their address. Um, I think if it's, a, you know, it's related to perfume, it's not off off uh, limits. But I think when, when you're getting into people's private stuff, you know, it's off limits. Mm. Keenly, that's okay. If it's true, it's a... you are the best, Miami. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> well, that's true, man. You know, I already know that. I already know that he's he's giving the seven thumbs down like he always does. You know, it's 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 like obvious. I always get seven thumbs down as soon as the video is over. I have seven thumbs down, and and. I only have like two or three thumbs up. Oh, by the way, hit the thumbs up, <laughs> please. Um, yeah, I have a tons tons of thumbs down. Seven right away. So when I, I close the video, and then you know everything, I, I look at the the uh, you know the video to see if it, if it worked and whatever. And there's always a seven thumbs down. It never fails. What's up, Cuddles? Good to hear you. Thank you, man. Good to see you, too. Any panty drop or fragrance? Dude, I, 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 there's no such thing. But like I told you, I think you would appreciate, you know, uh, one million. You know, they have like these gold bars. A lot of people, uh, those are, are kind of like, what it is with fragrances, they call panty droppers like sweet fragrances. Fragrances fragrances that smell like desserts right so uh like one million smells like a dessert and and that would be like considered a panty dropper but it, it's it's not gonna really <laughs> if there was a, a, a cologne that could do that it, it <laughs> that would be that would be amazing you know but there aren't any things like that, you know, like you, you just walk into Publix and everybody's dropping their pants. <laughs> Come on, man. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all marketing. That's all it is. All right. Love you too, man. <laughs> I like she lying style, man. I read about, yeah, there, there's a lot of money in that, man. There's there's a lot of money in that. And, I mean, there is. I mean, now, so now, now the trend is because of the economy, like, dude, I spent so much money on food that <sighs> there's, like, no money left over after you buy food, you know? So people are hurting everywhere. 
Um, and it's like people are talking about clones now. Clones, the hot topic right now. Nobody's talking about these niche perfumes. Um, I do love, I, I, I do think that niche perfumes are quality. It, you know, and, and, and I know they're all under the same umbrella. I think Maurice told me there's maybe, I don't remember. I don't want to quote him. So, but there's only like uh, one woman or something that everything's under her right except certain companies and i think Guerlain is one of those i think orman jane is one of those but you know uh i think perfumes de marley just got bought out for a lot of money you know it's 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 all about money it's not really about anything else except money it's but i'm here to save you money i haven't done it in like 10 years and and and, and george saharf brought it up he said he, he says the crest white strips really do work i've never tried them i i, I could probably uh buy them and check them out but like my teeth were kind of like really yellow at a certain point and but you know those crest white strips george saharf swears by those crest white strips so I, I would think if he swears by it, you know, he's the most down to earth, honest guy. Thumbs down is engagement too. No. So what they do with the thumbs down is they, they just click the video. They switch their account, give another thumbs down, but it, it matters about how long they watch too. Hello. How you doing? Je Johnny aromatic. Are you real? Or are you a troll? Like if I see a new, <laughs> If I see a new a new uh, account I've never seen before, I'm like, hmm, I wonder, I wonder. <laughs> well, welcome, Johnny Aromatic. Glad you're here. And the end, yes, it's all about money. Yeah, it's all about money. Oh, yeah. And uh, I got six people watching. I don't care. Like... I'm having fun. And, and here, let me talk about my last fragrances. It's it's all if you have an ego. If you have an ego, you'll care. This is uh, Brooks Brothers Country Club. Ooh. This is another one. Let me let me get the notes out for you. It's sort of a, a fougere, and what I mean by fougere console fanboy is what I can't see crap, man. It's like sucks when you get old. You can't see Brooks Brothers. Brothers. Let me look this up. Oh, they don't even make Country Club anymore. So this is a discontinued fragrance. Let me smell it and tell you what I get. I've sprayed so much, though. Definitely lavender. A lot of lavender. Kind of, kind of airy, springy. This is discontinued, though. Cummy Granny. This is uh, Brooks, Brooks Brothers, and it's called Country Club. A lot of lavender. A lot of nice lavender. And, and probably a little, God, I can't think of the word, mentholated, eucalyptus, whatever. It's, it's pretty nice. If you like uh, summer fougere, but I don't even know where to find it. Um, it's discontinued. And I always say discontinued for a reason. But it's Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers, I don't think they're in, in business anymore. I don't know. I don't think they're in business. I think they're a defunct company. 
I don't know. Don't sue me, Brooks Brothers. <laughs> we got Granny, got me Granny in, in the chat. Okay, here, here's a serious comment here. Cuddles, I suggest you try Domain by Mary Kay. Fresh mountain air breeze with a slight minty smell while still holding to be being, and I see my my uh, icon, Fougere. Okay. Domain by Mary Kay. I'll keep this up and, and read this later. Nice. I like I like mint, you know. Mint is, is nice. Thanks for that suggestion, Jacob. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is kind of this is kind of like wow, it's, it's a nice lavender. Would I go out of my way and look for it? Nah. It's good though. It is a very nice lavender. Definitely. I'll tell you, um, this is the best lavender right here. No lie. No lie. This is called Making Sense Purple Rain. This is Michael Dinsmore's best fragrance. It's it's uh, based off of Tom Ford Lavender Extreme. I haven't smelled one better than this. Oh, boy, this is good stuff. This is this is this is a masterpiece. This is, I smell a lot of Michael's fragrances, but this is a masterpiece and head and shoulders above the rest. Making sense, Purple Rain. Masterpiece. Wow. You could, you could bottle this up in, in, in a, an expensive bottle and sell for 300 bucks. Look at the color of the juice. There's real lavender oil in there. If anybody has tried Purple Rain, let me know. Masterpiece, man. Masterpiece. And I want to I want to bring up one more, Capucci. Now, the interesting thing about Capucci is the atomizer. Now, this is an old school atomizer. Look at this. What you want to see something really cool? Now, hold on. I can't see. Let me feel. Oh, there. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. So this is an old school sort of people compare it to Aventus. I don't know how close it is to Aventus, but it's definitely a, like a happy summer fragrances. Lavender Extreme was going for 400 bucks. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Dude, Purple Rain is amazing. Amazing. I've been taught. I made a video about it. I love it so much. It's um, some of those other guys that came over here. They smelled it and they're like, "Wow!" I said, "Dude, what do you think? I'm shilling? I, I'm not a shill, man. I have nothing to gain. Pressurized prayer, yeah. I have nothing to gain. You know, not at all. I told you it's good." <laughs> Everybody said this is excellent when they came over here and smelled it. Like, dude, I'm not a show. I'll tell you the truth. Yeah. Try try Lavender Extreme AM. It's his best fragrance by far. It stands head and shoulders above everything else. He has another one that's really good. His Dolce & Gabbana Poor Home is very good. Um... I forgot to talk about Dolce and Gabbana Poor Home. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Check out his 4th of July sale. But um, Dan has the good version. Michael Dinsmore has a version of this that's very good, which he, um, the paper, you know, this was like 1994 version when they kind of reformulated it, or is it 19, I don't know. I think 1994. I don't know. Whatever. They reformulated it. And it's like so everybody, dude. And let me let me bring this up about Creed. There's no reformulations. Okay. There's no reformulations. 
every year smells the same. Okay. And, and it's just the maceration process. People will say I'm crazy, but I've sprayed in a store Creed Aventus, right? I got a decant of it and, and from different years, right? And you let it macerate, meaning you just kind of let it sit around for a couple of years. It smells totally different, man. It, it just mixes. It just mixes. Like even that um, Guerlain Loam Adiel, like I didn't like it so much in the beginning. But once it mixed, and I, I think that's with, with vintage fragrances, they, they mix it's just like fine wine, you know, people are like, you know, it mixes, it just kind of settles into a masterpiece. I believe that a lot of people don't believe that. Man, it flattened my head. Ugh. Making sense. Yeah. Oh, let me see. Let me, uh, yeah, Mr. Miami um, is real strong. It's it's a beautiful. That's another one. I like the smell of it a lot, but it's kind of obnoxious. And then he made Mr. Miami Nights, which was even more obnoxious. You know, but Mr. Miami was like good outside, but then. He sort of did something to tone it down with Mr. Miami Blue, and that's the best of the three iterations, right? But like Mr. Miami smells great, but it's like it's it's kind of perfect where you have that 17 ml and you like say for instance you're like on the boat or something, you take it out of your pocket and spray, and everybody's gonna smell you, but it's just too powerful for indoors. It does smell really good, Mr. Miami. But it'll last on your clothes like three days, you know? So it's like, it, it just projects like a beast and it lasts forever. Oh, no. Darius Truxton. Yeah, that guy was kind of boring. I watched Darius Truxton. But th there's a lot of drama in 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 the arcade community and the in the gaming community. Is like everybody wants their place. Everybody wants to be seen. But when it gets, you know, there was another guy that's in the fragrance community. He used to say the most shocking things to get to get the uh, attention. You know, some people really like attention, and. It's, it's like, like mean and it, it's like, dude, it takes time to put out a quality video, you know, like, um, to edit and do all that work. And it's like, so it's like, it's all also to thine self, to thine own self be true. You know, like I see, you know. If, if you're uploading every day, like obviously Killer Frags had the best videos, right? But if Killer Frags uploaded every day, he, he'd have over 100,000 subs. But those videos take a lot of time to edit, you know? So he'd spend like a week editing one video, you know? So he couldn't upload a video every day because he would be like just sitting at his computer making YouTube everything. You know, so and he has a, a full time job. If you ever if you ever want to see a very well edited video, check out Killer Frags, K I L L A and Frags, F R A G S. His name is Corey. He's he's from Wales. Man, it but you know, it takes time to, you know. To you know, and he did get appreciation like from from uh, the people in the community, they they uh, gave him views and like, you know, when you put all that time and effort into a video, you know, and you don't get any views, I guess it hurts. But you know, 
thankfully killer friday's got all those views and likes you know because he did the hard work yeah dude there's more drama there's drama in the game dude there's everywhere because people want attention people are attention horse you know and it does they could say the meanest things and they just they just want attention and and they think it's funny but you know when you're hurting somebody else it's not funny so it becomes it, it becomes like well you may think it's funny but other people may be hurt by it but so, the other people they don't care about other people they only care about themselves and, and that becomes very apparent after time that they don't care about anybody else. They just care about themselves, their image. And it just becomes very mean and, and evil. And people see them for mean and evil after a time. All right. I got to uh, put together a patio set for my sister. And it's going to be a beautiful video. She lives in a nice building overlook, overlooking the intercoastal. And I have to make it, like, really uh, beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to do that like I was waiting. She says in an hour, so she hasn't called me. But, Fernando, I appreciate you uh, coming here. Jacob, it was nice to see you. A to Z, it's always great to see A to Z. A.M., <laughs> nice to see you, man. Um, Jacob, Fernando, A to Z, Jerry, Johnny Aromatic. Don't know if you're a troll or you're serious, but it was nice to see you. Console fanboy, OTG. See, OTG has that. If you want to see OTG drama, how many subs you have? Like 7,000? I don't know. You have a couple channels. But yeah, OTG, he's, he's into drama, into the... Uh, Arcade community. Console fanboy has a couple thousand subs. He's he's sort of uh, controversial. And, you know, Keenly Portly, good to see you. Who else did I miss? I, I always love to see A to Z. Yes, you have a wrench. Hell yeah, you got a wrench. I love you, A to Z. You're a very intelligent man. You know, your intelligence is is nice to see. And um, like I always say, Dan is very intelligent. He knows a lot about world politics and, you know, he, he's, he's an intelligent man. You know, I, 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 uh, I think he should shave that beard, man. I think they trolled him into getting that beard. He needs to shave it off. He looked better clean shaven. Anyway, thanks, Fernando. Take care, everybody.